Welcome back, everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood, Mick. Again, we are back on FF16. If you haven't already figured this out by the name of the title, uh, we are picking up at the last from the last episode going into the hideaway. After that not-so-wonderful fight with Odin. I'm going to keep calling it Odin, just because I don't want to mess with the guy's name. All right. Gav said that Otto might know something. Actually, before I do... Okay. So I can craft some stuff. That Blackthorn. How are we supposed to do our job? But first, I can't talk today. How can I help you today, Clive? Is everything we've received and everything promised? Sweet. Alright, I got that. I may have more for you. How are you doing? Let's see what we got. Stuff here. I'll be taking you all to a store. Um, that's mail. not what I meant to do. That 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 was not what I meant to do at all. I mean, at least I could fast travel. I couldn't do it before at the end of the episode, so. <sighs> Let's try this again. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Hit up Tomes. Karen. And then... Blackthorn. Let me help. I know my letters. Uh, my Good morrow to you, my friend. I have compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. And knew it. What subject shall we consider today? The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you a story, Clive. Oh, fuck. All right. Them rumors wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. He told me about his plan to topple the mother crystals, you know. He said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint gill. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest damn in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. <laughs> but I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than gill. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. I do, don't want that. I still need some Clive. shit. Go on then. Oh, Rune Blade. Better than Excalibur. You'll not find a better prize than that. Why not? Might as well get that. 
It's rubbing me blind, you know. And you're the one who priced it. Don't want to hear shit. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Might as well. It'd better all be here. Finished, are you? Yes. Trouble with your gear, or what do you want? No oh, shit. No scratches, all right? It last you a good while. Boom. Not bad, if I do say so myself. All right, what can I reinforce? I can reinforce that. You can thank me later. Don't I already have a bastard two sword? I already do. So I don't need it. Build two. I should do you. Upgrade you those. Boom. And I am straight kidded. Let's take a look at that sword. Ooh. Ooh. That's hot. Alright. That's it. We'll go talk to Otto. Cole said it was an army of a cash. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills... Glove? But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, well. as for these writings... I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Hey -o. Oh shit, I didn't even see that there. This entire time I have completely bypassed that, not even knowing it was here. Let's give me a good chunk of gold once I sell all that junk. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. But you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. <laughs> Holy World War Place. Right here. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Seeing this doll in Sid's cellar, I wonder if it was Mids. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Oh, 
Oh shit. Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. I probably doesn't even know it was there. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. But what would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Lots of back and forth. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. I gotta go back. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. That means you broke it. What's wrong with it? Because we broke it. When it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this. Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? All too well. All right, out of the way. Precocious little scamps. Yeah, do you want to get punched? No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it. Sid fixed it. He more than fixed it. Yeah, new music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> It's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Time to head back. Just the two I was looking for. Aye, aye. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. <laughs> he did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. 
Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? <sighs> Ask me when I get back. <laughs> Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. No promises. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. Yes, yes, but at the same time, it does not matter, because the flagship will sail nonetheless. Oh, fucking more quests. Might as well pick him up. Cole said it was an army of Akashi. And then I still have some of the freaking beasts to catch. All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit um worried about him, and you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but. I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And, seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought, maybe... I guess. I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right, I'll meet you by the forge then. You come along when you're ready. Well, that one started. Might as well pick this one up. Actually, hold on. Was that the Clive. only one? Anything catch your eye? Shit. <sighs> Seen enough? Yes. I touch base on more side quests. What you got for me? Glory to Griga. There you are. I'm not a moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She just she's left to go talk to me. Too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. <gasps> so much. Taya, Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't tire. 
Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I... I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvant, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. Homie's turning out looking like a mannequin. Alright, so there's that. What's this one? Oh, shit. Excuse me, come on through. The flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a morble vine to a morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. I guess. And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. Oh, oh Lord. Timely. I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Ah, <sighs> so much to do. Let's go speak to Blackthorn. again oh, and you got better things to do with your time that remains to be seen august tells me he showed you a ring and that the sight of it clearly upset you would you mind telling us why come on mate bottling it up ain't gonna help no one if it weren't the ring and it was something i said then i'm sorry it was the ring right 
It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. No, oh, they beating each other up. All back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Yeah. Past us improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What do you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravosh, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravosh as soon as you can, yeah? Oh, that was that um, fast travel point I unlocked. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. Oh, that was easy. <sighs> what else do I have? Back in hell. I got so many side quests, it's coming out my fucking ears. I got the three in the other towns. From that dude. And then I have this. Oof. Probably do some hunts. This one I'm gonna have to do just to knock it out and get it over and done with. Alright. <sighs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I totally. I, I'm. My brain is just bleh. Where was this at? Whispering Waters. Alright. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, boom. Whispering waters. Nope. Boom, right there. What? Oh, that's right. Ay, 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 ay. Alright. <sighs> We got this, let's go.
Yay. There we go. We want to go this way. Oh, carrot. Found you, bitch. Ooh, he looks a vicious. I got away from it. All right then. It's okay. I'm gonna hit you with something really bad. It's okay. Just let me charge up, bud. Let me do my thing, and you can do yours. Nope. 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 And just like that. Thank you. Get up. Get up. Say that. Just realized I had that fucking going. Okay, keep it going. At least he's not fucking healing. I'll give him that much. Charge better. Charge better. I'm gonna circle around you, I'm gonna roasty toast your ass. Why are you running? Why are you running? I gotta spend some ability points too. Holy hell. Yes, yes, I got one of the flowers. Well, that was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. Alright. Might as well go here, pick up that side quest. I might as well just like pick up all the side quests I can. The faster, the better. Knock them out, get them over and done with. Plus, it is getting me some uh, renown, I guess you can call it. Some ah, extra shit. Just oh. a man I was hoping to see. Oh, and why is that? 
Remember how some of Sir Wade's guardians took up residence here after the Akash attacked? Oh God, what are they doing? The rest have come to join him. Seems their barracks in the Lazarus have been lost to an ether flood. Now I don't mind having a few more brave boys around to keep them animals at bay. I ain't daft after all. But we ain't got nowhere for him to bed down. Poor buggers are having to make do with haylofts and chocobo pens. I'd build him a new barracks here if I could. But where would I put him? There just isn't enough room up here on the rock. Which leaves us in a bit of a pickle. The people we're counting on to keep us safe are living like beggars. I see. And it isn't just that lot. There's bears to think about too. There's been more and more of them turning up lately, coming from all over looking for safe haven. <laughs> But there's only so many we can shelter with the room we've got. We can't keep cramming more and more people into less and less space. What we need is a new home for our new arrivals. And that's what I was hoping you might help me with. If it ain't too much of a burden, of course. Oh, it's not at all. Thank you, Clive. So, where were you thinking of making this new home? Well, I reckon we could do a lot worse than Eastpool. Eastpool. It's been a long time since I thought about that place. It was a tragedy, what happened. And if any of us could have done anything to stop it, we would have. But what's done is done. And those who lived there wouldn't have wanted the village they loved to be left in ruins. I suppose you're right. The blight might be pressing in, but I reckon it's got a good few years left in it yet. There's just one problem. It's overrun by bandits. Have made it their den, and they don't seem like they'll be moving on in a hurry. Nasty mm. bastards they are well, too. we'll have to fa facilitate their expedite. Would have sure. Would someone to clear them out sooner if my boys didn't already have their hands full fending off the Akashic. But now we've got a few more guardians of the flame to call on. I reckon it's time we made our move. What do you say? Fancy leading a raiding party? I do. Eastpool was once home to people I loved. I won't have bandits sully those memories. I'll gladly drive them out of there. And I know the men will gladly follow you. I've already shared a few thoughts with Sir Wade about how we might be able to win the place back. And I dare say he's got some ideas of his own too. Why don't you go and talk to him? Of course. Sorry about that, guys. I had to step away for a second. Okay. All right, Sir Wade. Let's hear your plan. Sir Wade, it's good to see you well. And you, Lord Rossfield. And you. I spoke with Martha. She tells me you have plans to free Eastpool and make it your own. That's right. Though it was mostly her idea. I rather fear my men have been treading on her toes somewhat since joining us. Not to mention each other's. And then there are the bearers. Men and women who found the courage to flee their masters and sought refuge here. We need somewhere to settle them. And I can think of worse places than Eastpool. As can I. Which is why I agreed to help you win it back. That's very kind of you. I'd be most grateful if you would. With you beside us, we shall soon send that rabble of rogues running for the hills. So, what can you tell me? That What's the situation? Too many of them. Fewer than a dozen at our last count. And rather less, thankfully. The road that leads there will more than likely still be crawling with Akashic. A small force would suffice to clear the village. But if the Akashic were to follow them in, that force could end up trapped between a rock and a very hard place indeed. I'll head into Eastpool and deal with the bandits. You and the Guardians can stay outside the village and fend off any Akashic who come too close. Make sure I'm not taken unawares. I can't ask you to bear all that risk yourself, my lord. Bitch, do you know who I am? the bigger risk. I can handle a few bandits. Well, if you're sure, 
I shall summon my men at once. Shall I wait for you here? No need, my lord. You go on ahead. We'll be with you before long. All right. I'll meet you at Eastpool then. We shall see you there. And may victory await our coming. All right. Shit, I forgot. I could just fast travel. Shit's way easier. Bam. Hey, you guys. I'm gonna need you to leave. You think you can just walk in here? Kill yes. Him. You will leave Eastpool now, or face the consequences. See, we got a problem, you guys. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go up to level three. <laughs> That's the end of that, then. Or maybe not. Oh, fucking plan. Two scoops. Yeah, yeah. How's that feel? Warm and toasty? Ooh, that hurt. Oh, motherfucker! Any more surprises? I'll take that as a no. Bravo! A magnificent display, my lord. You were watching. I thought you were keeping an eye out for Akashic. We were. Put down more than a few on the road, then arrived just in time to see you slay that... whatever it was. Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Though I expect you and the Guardians will be up to the challenge should another appear. <laughs> in other words, y'all were so watching me and you didn't do shit? <laughs> bringing the bearers will be living here, I assume. It might be best to send word for them to come right away. Before any other unsavory characters move in. Of course. I'll send orders for them to depart immediately. Leave it with me, my lord. Without masters? No. We're the masters now. Our lives are our own at last. That's all of them. And not a single Akashic in sight. Now to begin the important work of rebuilding the place. It won't be easy. Especially not after five years of beasts and blackguards having their wicked way with the place. The masonry might still be sturdy enough, but half the beams are rotted. 
Those that weren't lost in the fire or burned by the bandits, that is. It'll take a bit of elbow grease, but we'll see Eastpool rise again. Just you wait. So wait. Lady Hannah is buried here. If you don't mind, I'd like Oscar to join the rebuilding efforts. He should be a part of this. Of course. I couldn't agree more. I'll let Martha know that everyone arrived safely. If you need anything more, you have only to send a Stolas. And we will, my lord. Safe travels. Yeah, don't fuck it up. in safe hands. Time to go and tell Martha the good news. There you are. All went well then. Sir Wade told me you got rid of the bandits while his lot kept an eye out. Nicely done. And what's all this about some shape shifting nightmare showing up? On second thoughts, don't tell me. <laughs> It'll only give me nightmares of my own. What matters is you did it, and now we can build our new village. I suppose it will be. What will you call it? What else? Eastpool. Sir Wade said it best. There's plenty bad happened to that place, but that don't undo the good that happened there. No need to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Did Wade say that? Well, something along those lines. Anyway, the poor souls might have made it to Eastpool, but their work ain't done yet. So the way I see it, neither is mine. If it's food or lumber or strong backs they need, the rest is ready to provide it. Thank you, Martha. No, thank you. You didn't have to help us. I wanted to. Okay. No, that's not bad stuff. That's not bad. All right, another one done. All right. Let's see what else do I got? I got one there, there, there. Fuck, there's so many. Um. Might as well. Uh. All right, I think I got enough time to do this. Kicked out already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. <laughs> You've changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Yep. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely. I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. Jeez, such a kind man. <laughs> Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. No promises. Yeah, I promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? <laughs> Obliged. This place looks like shit. Mm. So, 
this is Dravoshd. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was alone, Chicken. you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. No promises. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. You'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. First things first, though. I need to make a little trip around. Ooh, what you got? You got some good goods? Like to see my wares? Here you are. Good enough. That's all I need. Miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Ooh. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Bitch! Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's did I stutter? To see you. Yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right. Them flames are hot enough for me to toss your ass in, motherfucker, so calm down. Well, as a personal favor to him, yes. <laughs> He's like, all right. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know what turned the village against you. I left. <sighs> Dravoshd. Sultan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. We will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravoshd in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravoshd prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. 
There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. So teach what these fuckers to how to do it. It's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravosht will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. <laughs> Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us, salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, then. Sweet. But we will be doing that hunting in the next episode. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.